College of Journalism along with the South Asian Symphony Foundation organized the symphony lecture by Sugata Bose. It was followed by a performance by the South Asian Symphony Orchestra at the MS Subulakshmi Auditorium. Orchestras and music in general are beautiful creations. They transcend race, religion, language and borders. They are microcosms of the world. When different musicians and instruments join in harmony together, walls begin to crumble and differences recede. Friendships are formed and then these friendships are taken home. Sagata Bose is a gardener professor of history at Harvard University. His fields of study are South Asian and Indian Ocean history. During his lecture, he talked about the unity that music can fabricate. He mentioned how South Asia has frequently been characterized as India and Pakistan. Yet, the historical backdrop is considerably more nuanced and extraordinarily vibrant. South Asia spreads across Afghanistan, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh and Bhutan through India, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. If borders divide lands, music connects the hearts. It speaks the language of oneness, of unity. And that is the story of our lives. So we established a trust in Bangalore in 2018, and then I set about literally burrowing into the deep and dark beyond to try and see how we could find musicians of South Asia connected to the region and even those who lived beyond our borders, to bring them together to form a... Nirupama Menon Rao is a retired Indian diplomat, foreign secretary and ambassador. She joined the Indian Foreign Service in 1973. During her four-decade-long diplomatic career, she led several important assignments. She was India's first woman spokesperson in the Ministry of External Affairs. Nirupama Menon Rao started this concept of the symphony group along with her husband after getting inspired from her years in diplomacy. She felt the need for providing a platform to promote more dialogue, cultural synergy and friendly understanding among the youth of the eight countries in South Asia, including India. During the performance, we saw that while we must be separated by physical distancing, art and culture can still bring us together safely and allow us to maintain and even strengthen our connections with one another when we need them the most. This orchestra has musicians, of course, with India at the core because this is an Indian initiative. I often say this is India's South Asian city. SAF wants its orchestra to point the way to recognition of the fact that South Asia is an integer, bound more together by our commonalities than our differences. To quote the famous words of Ambassador Vijay Lakshmi Pandit before the United Nations, let us sweat in peace, not bleed in war. Thank you.